our Batman action figure from the Superpowers line 1984-85. It is my original toy that I've had for many, many years. Excuse me. And this is the 100th edition of the Batman line made sometime in the 90s, I'm guessing. This is not as sentimental, look at the dust, as the the Batman you see before you. Sorry. And uh, Colossus lost his leg in a falling off the shelf incident. So uh, maybe some super glue will help with Colossus. Don't know. So I'm going to put all that back there. Today is going to be a comic book trivia springboard with some Batman cards that I have. So this will be my third attempt at the... Uh, now, Now the, the 1985 Batman has seen better days because you could squeeze the legs and the punching can happen. But Because this is originally, even as a kid, I, 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 this was my attempt to draw a little bat on the back of the, uh, on the cape. This is becoming an objects in space uh, playlist episode if I keep going. But uh, yeah, you know, Batman's been through a lot. I used to, used to sometimes if I wanted formal Batman, I would I would wrap the cape around the the shoulders, right? So this is this is dress, this is dress uniform Batman, right here. So there we. Go. So it's it's held up nice. Now if you want to see how the the punching works, I still I still have a Superman in in pretty good shape. And he can he can do the punching. So you you press the legs, and there he goes. Now there's plenty of uh, great YouTubers out there that have done toy overviews. So that's all I'm doing. So you guys see, Superman had the had the S on the back of his cape. Why well, didn't and Batman didn't? But that yeah that those those are how the arms are supposed to work. But they're not happening in the um in the original uh, Batman figure I have. So yeah, Batman is what we're doing today. So these are the Batman's cards as I come to you from the Bat's Cave that I have made. And it's, it is the Bat's Cave, and some Bat fans know that it is, and they know where that reference first came from. But I'm not going to, enter. you know, I'm not going to do that. All right, so here's the thing about Batman. Um, the older I get, the less I like Batman. I'm, I'm kind of over it. Uh, too much Batman. Oversaturation of Batman in my life. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of done with it. Um, I appreciated the, the artistic endeavor of the Christopher Nolan movies. But I, I will only ever watch the first one again. Because I, I, I find... Uh, uh, the Joker, a distasteful character that uh, has done more harm than good for, for comicdom. And I'm right with Alan Moore in The Killing Joke, where the intention was to kill that character and be done with it. I'm, I'm right there. Joker is, is not a redeemable character. There's nothing, there's no hope in the character. Um, that that's th those are my gut feelings about uh, Batman. So the more I keep playing up Joker stuff, uh, the more it doesn't work for me. So yeah, as a drama, I suppose the uh, what's the second movie called? The Dark. Is it just called The Dark Knight? I'm yeah. I'm sorry if I'm losing my cred on this, but um, uh, things I dislike, I just don't want to pay attention to. Um, it's not that I have some fine geek outs with comic book Batman. I do. I was there in 1989. Uh, my first Bat book, which I don't have here, but the, the Gene Colan vampire issue. Uh, th those are a lot of fun. So, yeah, I know Batman. I, I, I'll do Batman all day long with you. Uh, but Batman since, say, 2001, I'm, I'm kind of done. I think after Nightfall, it's done reading Batman. And that's, uh, that's it. I don't go back and watch Batman movies. The, uh, you know, Batman Returns has, has some great lines, but it's, it just doesn't, doesn't hold up. I bought the Batman Adam West Blu-rays. I didn't get the Batmobile with it. Oh, I also have the original. Well, 
it's always in my background. I'm sure somebody's gonna geek out on this. Um, yeah, this is the Superpowers Batmobile. Da 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 da. Batmobile. So you know that's there. So I get it. You can't can't be into the the superheroes and whatnot, and, and not appreciate the Batman. And and I like the the Batman Begins movie. That's great. I'm glad. glad uh, excuse me. I'm glad uh, Ra's al Ghul was in it. Uh, I'm, I was on board with all that. But uh, yes, the Heath Ledger portrayal of the Joker. Fine, fine performance, but nothing I ever want to watch again. And I think I think here's here's where I went south with the Joker, the Joker. Um. Alan Davis wrote The Nail, an Elseworlds tale, where um, where Joker just indiscriminately finally kills Robin and his feet are just hanging up in a panel. And I know that that's a previous beat elsewhere, where like the how many times Robin should die, so that's not new. But at the time I was reading it, I wasn't aware of the previous beats. Uh, and I'm like, well, I'm, this is, I, I'm done with the Joker. I don't get the appeal. I'm not... I'm, the psychotic doesn't appeal to me. Sorry. And, uh, yeah, even when I read Dark Knight Returns, where he's killing everybody in Letterman's audience, and I'm like, this is, uh, this is not, uh, uh, maybe I'm too self-reflective or psychologically. I'm like, this is, this is wrong. You can't have this much nihilism in a, in a character. Um, and, yeah, I've read plenty of the psychology of Batman, and I yeah, that's all true too. But um, no, it just doesn't it doesn't work for me anymore. The older I get, except if it's Adam West. But even even in the two thousands, you know, uh, Mark 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 Miller's Authority run, not Authority. I forget it. Anyway, that, that widescreen era where he does the alternate, uh, the DC, and he's like killing all the Green Lanterns, and all, it's just, uh, that kind of is off-putting. I, I, you know, this is the Trek headspace. Trek has the optimism I need, and it, that doesn't discount the kind of the harsher engagements with the darker side of human beings. It should be acknowledged. That's real, obviously it is, but um, the concern is when people love the Joker and Harley Quinn as much as they do without really examining the, uh, the psychosis of these characters. That's what makes it problematic for me. Okay. That's enough of the rant. I, I can't imagine anyone, uh, stayed, stayed, they stayed through that, but okay. Let's see if I can back up my, my, um, my criticisms with some just everyday geek creds. All right, so here are the questions in the Batman pop quiz trivia. Giant Penny in the Batcave. The encounter with which villain? Oh, wow. I hadn't even thought about what villain had the giant penny. The Joker has the card in the Batcave. Who would have the penny? The penny's got to come from Golden Age books, right? And there were so many insane villains during the 50s. And you could find... Go to go to Casualty Comics to get her rundown of all that insanity. Uh, I don't know. I want to say Scarecrow, but that doesn't make any sense. I mean, what villain is associated with a giant p toy man? All right, we'll see. Number two. Rogue's Gallery started his own short-lived comic book series in 70... A uh, short-lived comic book series in the 70s. I didn't think it was 75, but I guess it could be Joker had a had a short-lived comic. Uh, and then came the comic book implosion from 77, but I don't even think Joker made it that far. I could, I could be wrong on that. But yeah, there was a Joker comic in the 70s. So there you go. Um, Computer-generated president record. And, oh, see, this is when... <laughs> I think it was issue two... Or three of the Dark Knight Strikes Again that I ended my weekly buying of comics. This was a this was my jumping off point, and I realized that the uh, Dark Knight sequels from Frank Miller. This was from a, a, a an interview I heard with uh, Grant Morrison. You know, the Dark Knight Strikes Again are books where 
Frank Miller is trying to come to grips with 9-11. So he's writing this as 9-11 happens. And so that changes the entire thread of the book. Um, my views at the time were this is pretty unreadable and I'm not, I'm just not going to, I'm just going to get off this train. So I don't know who the mastermind behind anything was in Dark Knight Strikes Again. Um, is it the Joker? I don't know. Think about these questions. I noticed this with the Wonder Woman cards too. They just, they they go all over the place. They just jump, jump, jump time periods and everything. Okay. Hey, this is a softball league of assassins. Now, unfortunately, I don't think that my comic background would would be enough for me to know the answer to this question. And neither do I, I think it's Batman Begins, which, again, it's a fine movie. Uh, but I think I know this because of Arrow, because most of Arrow was, was simply Batman, as, as Green Arrow was a version of Batman from the get-go. Anyhow, um, at least the Silver Age version of it was. So, uh, yeah, League of Assassins. This one bugs me because I do... These are good beats in, in Dark Knight Returns, the original. Beyond the bad stuff happens. But, um, yeah, how Miller depicts the uh, Robin is... that That's what makes it worth reading. I'm not saying that Dark Knight Returns isn't a good read. It's a great read. Uh, there's some uncomfortableness that I'm like kind of off, but... When we're when the reveals the splash pages with the Robin and I can't remember her name I th was it Cassidy, Cassie, damn, you know I, I think it's good I don't remember her name I'm sure they've tried to bring this character back but I I'm kind of glad the character stays where she's at because it's it's very much a piece of of this this Dark Knight Returns world. Um, and I think, you know, they, we had spoiler in the, the late 90s, early 2000s. That would have been a great female Robin. There should be nothing to get in the way of that happening. But then they just ended up killing spoiler, too, which I don't understand. And then I did like, uh, uh, digressing, I liked the, uh, the uh, version of Batgirl that wasn't Barbara Gordon. And that came out of Nightfall. And unfortunately, I'm a big fan of of the Huntress. I've got I got a Huntress statue over here, and I got a figure. Well, you can't see any of this. There's a Huntress figure over here, from the JLA line. And I don't know. Maybe it's just a. Uh, uh, and I like these since the uh, All Star, uh, the, the JSA books from the '70s, and the uh, the Joe Stanton stuff. I, I, it's, uh, I, I think the Huntress appeals to me as a an ancillary character because you don't have that constant crossover so you could have a self-contained huntress story uh and kind of just make that and this is my character she's not all over the place you can follow her so on and so forth okay uh so no i don't know the name of the female robin i'm in my mind it's cassie but i think that's that's totally wrong all right so those were the five random batman questions from the batman pop kiss pop kiss uh pop quiz uh trivia questions let's see how i did All right, so yeah, uh, points if you're a fan of the the Penny Plunderer. That that's totally out of the '50s. It has to be, even '40s. I don't know. Joker had the series in the '70s. Lex Luthor. What was this question? Oh, mastermind behind the computer. Well, there's no O behind that. I don't even know what I said. I think I just said Joker. But uh, all right. And you see Luthor coming to the Bat universe during um, No Man's Land. He comes in to uh, you know, like gentrify a post-earthquake Gotham. I don't know what he... I remember that issue. League of Assassins, and it's Carrie and not Cassie. Carrie Kelly. So continuing the traditions of uh, a, a, you know, a characters, real names that have two first names. So it's a fine tradition of Alan Scott and Clark Kent and Hal Jordan Bruce Wayne, and, and I'm sure many more. All right, that's the, uh, I, you know, we have, a, we have a lot of Batman cards in this deck. Uh, I'm not sure I'm going to do a lot of them. Sorry to let you down. I don't have the passion for Batman. I once did. I was looking for some comic book cards, 
and it was Batman and Wonder Woman. That's what I found on the eBay. Maybe there's a Superman set out there. I don't know. Um, I have my favorites, uh, but Batman's not 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 up there any longer. And and yes, I'm up on the argument that most heroes are Batman or versions of Batman, versions of Superman. I'm not dismissing him at all, but um, um, I've decided that uh, that's not my thing. I still have some classic detectives that that have intrinsic intrinsic value to me, and are totally worth a, a geek out with the dot cam and I feel like uh I got plenty of time to do that. So uh you know, it's okay not to like Batman sometimes or you know Batman villains. So squawk squawk. All right. That's all I got for today. Make every day like today and and, and then you can do it tomorrow.